What? <laughs> hey, I got your text. What's up? Oh, um, yeah. I was just having some trouble with cellular respiration. That's not too bad. I can help you with that. Thank you, man. This textbook is so confusing. Can you just explain it to me? I have a better idea. Come on. We're going somewhere. Where are we- oh! What? Where are we? The side is open animal cell. Animal. How'd we get here? You wanted to learn about cellular respiration, right? Well... Your knowledge is inadequate, so I'ma help you master it There's a lot we need to talk about, so let's get after it It starts up in the cytosol, glucose what you need to know Carbon-6, 12 hydrogen, and 6 oxygen form it so the cell can undergo glycolysis Okay This is what respiration starts off with Two ATP are used to break the glucose apart Four are gained, so we end up with more than at the start The glucose becomes two, three carbon pyruvates We also get two of a thing called NADH Wait, what's NADH? And what's it for? It's one of our multiple electron carriers. It starts up as an AD plus until it gets reduced. It isn't until the last step that it gets used. All right, I think I get it. What step comes after this? In order to find out, let's head to the mitochondrial matrix. There's a few more steps before the ATP is made. Pyruvate has got to become acetyl-CoA by way of it becoming oxidized. oxidized. We also get an ADH and release carbon dioxide. Is the carbon dioxide a substance that we need? No, that's why we exhale it when we breathe. Now that we have the acetyl-CoA, that's great. We can turn it into another molecule called citrate and enter the citric acid cycle where the cell creates a lot of FADH2 and NADH. Is FADH2 the other electron carrier? Indeed it is. Good job. You're really starting to learn. You see, it makes NADH twice releases two carbon dioxide cycles to make FADH2 and NADH one more time. One acetyl-CoA remains that goes through the cycle again. That means by the end of this important stage, there are 10 NADH4 ATP and 2 FADH2 that have been made available for the cell to use. After the Krebs cycle, we are run to the final stage, final where stage. we use all of our FADH2 and NADH. It's a phase known as oxidative phosphorylation, where all of the things we've done lead to ATP creation. The purpose of the electron carriers is to donate their electrons to the electron transport chain. I got you. On this chain is a string of electron acceptors, and as it goes down, it releases energy to use for pumping, pumping protons, protons across the inner membrane, until, until the electron, electron reaches the bottom of the chain, right there, where there is an oxygen that becomes water when the electron is gained. Anyways, what's the purpose of the protons we send across the membrane. It makes a proton gradient so they want to get back into the matrix. They gotta go through the protein complex ATP synthase which harvests this energy and ATP is made. Whoa! What just happened? Good luck on your test tomorrow.